So I have some pretty good news. So just the other day, it was Rhode Island's Democratic primary day, and uh, progressives had a lot of candidates who were actually on the state house and state senate races. So there were a lot of progressive candidates. And what ended up happening was is a bunch of them won. Um, Ryan Grimm says Rhode Island mail results are in and the progressive wave is confirmed. At least 12 state house and senate candidates beat their establishment opponents. So it was about, I think, 20-ish uh, progressive candidates who ran and about 12 of them won. Um, there were a couple who lost, but a lot of them unseated sitting incumbents. So there were a lot of incumbents removed. Now, there is this uh, group called Rhode Island Political Cooperative. That's the name of their organization. As you can see here, it's like a list of their candidates that are running. And, you know, people uh, people like, you know, Jonathan Acosta. A lot of these people on this list had actually won their races. And this is, again, for the state house and the state senate in Rhode Island. Now, Rhode Island is a very Democrat state, but it's a very conservative and a very um, corporate democratic state is what it is. And they actually uh, were able to unseat a lot of people. And so this is really important because you can't just go from a top heavy approach of like it's burn your bust. Like he has to win the presidency or bust. So obviously, you know, we're focusing on getting people into the federal house of representatives and the Senate. We retained Marky. We picked up some seats in the house and we're gonna continue to do so. So that's really important. But not only is it important to get congressional members at the federal level as well as trying to win the presidency, but these kinds of bottom-up approaches are really important. And really the only way to be able to get something like Bernie Sanders winning or something like that on top is if you start from the bottom up and you really sort of exert your influence that way. So the only real way is if we have a massive progressive wave of candidates running literally everywhere. And so I'm hopeful that this happens in all states. Um, and I hope that there are, you know, groups like the Rhode Island Political Cooperative in every single state because so much of policy is local and state level. In fact, it probably is more than it is federally when you think about it. So when you have the intra-politics of a state, having people in the state house and the state senate who are progressive is super crucial because those are the people who craft up the legislation that builds the rules and what's going on in the state. So things like legalizing marijuana in the state, for example. You can only do those things with progressives there. Not only that, but if you have a bunch of people who are holding those seats, those people ha are building name recognition in their area, and then they have the higher chance of being able to win uh, house seats, you know, when they're openings and they can challenge incumbents, you know, not everybody can be an AOC, and I would say most people can't. So this is a really good way to start out. So if you're a progressive who's looking to start out to, you know, run to become a representative, your best way to start out is city council. You know, pick up one of these state house, state senate seats, um, and then build your name recognition, build your sort of ties with your community, and then, you know, start moving up. You know what I'm saying? Run for house, you know, the federal house of representatives. And that's the only way for real change to happen. So it's important that we focus on these and don't throw these under the rug. We need a mass wave in all 50 states um, when it comes to progressive movements in the state house and the state senate um, and all of them. So uh, definitely a big wave going on in Rhode Island. So shout out to the Rhode Island Political Cooperative Group um, because Rhode Island really showed out for progressives that day.